what's up guys got a build to show off uh had built this for a waffle i was gonna have later but uh showed it off and justin decided he had to have it so here is justin's new watch and this will be his first watch thank you so much for your support man let's go over the watch a little bit so um before he selected it what i did was i grabbed out a bezel insert that i hadn't used in a while um I did a uh, Broncos watch probably two years ago uh, for Mario Martinez where uh, it went really well with his Broncos build. So I had that sitting back. And I know a lot of people like that uh, blue and orange style. So I thought, what could I do with that with a Kraken 2.0? Uh, this is the fifth Kraken 2.0 that I've built. Uh, so I did a brushed silver build. Uh, did it in a brushed silver case. We've got an Atlas bezel on here with that uh, <clears throat> navy blue and orange diver style insert. This is a lasered out uh, dial. So then backside loomed. So the Kraken, which of course the minute sets it up perfectly or it blocks it out. Um, Kraken is lasered out. And then our pips going out around the dial itself. So I did a darker blue, like a navy blue style, uh, pluprof style handset with an orange Favanov seconds hand. I used to buy hands from Favanov, but it's been a while and I still had an orange one left around. So that's what that one is. Um, get some focus here. Got an anchor engraved crown. Low profile exhibition case back. This is on one of my gilded. 2435 movements if you recall i was able to find 35 of them from a company that used to use this movement and they had them posted online and i bought all of them because this isn't a movement you can get so it's just like uh the movements that i typically use except the whole thing is gilded so it's got a stainless steel movement holder in there it's kind of hard to see but you can possibly see it at an angle there low profile exhibition case back bead blasted brass um, rotor on here with my logo and then we put this on one of my super soft suede straps that is branded with that blue stitching on there and then we have an engraved uh, brushed clasp on here or buckle not a clasp and that is the build so I thought it came out pretty awesome and apparently so didn't Justin. So <clears throat> bezel on these will turn left. They will turn right. These are not clickable style. Bezels are held on with a tension ring. And I put them on there as tight as I possibly can. So you can move them, but you're intentionally moving them. Uh, automatic mechanical. So you can wind it. You can wear it. You can put it in a watch winder. But if it's dead or you're not going to be very active, make sure you wind it just a little bit to keep time throughout the day. And how you do that is you back the crown off the threads until you hear it and feel it clicking that point you can wind and a wind is a turn away from you turning it towards you doesn't wind it but it's a lot easier to keep your finger spacing and just go back and forth you can do this standard style and just wind just uh make sure you don't wind it down onto the uh onto the threads so if you do this for four or five seconds before you put it on even if you're not very active you'll keep time throughout the day and if you do it for something closer to 20 seconds you're gonna max out that 31 plus hour power reserve on it. You cannot overwind it, so don't worry about that. When you're happy with your winding, pull it to the one and only click. You can now set your time. It does not have a hacking movement, so it's gonna keep going. And you also notice it's got a wobble crown that deflects lateral pressure from going into the stem and into the movement. So if you're pushing and prying on it, you're not putting any adverse pressure on uh, the stem. Okay, Google, what time is it? 5.37 p.m. You could push it over, get it out of that time setting. And then wind it down. And that, sir, is your build. So I thought it came out pretty awesome, man. I hope you like it. As with every build, you're going to get matching beads. Entirely up to you how cool you are, whether you wear them or not. This is also going to come in one of my silver 
Kraken boxes. This build will come with watch cleaner. This is good on all glass and metal parts. So everything here in the center of the watch, non-streaking, non-toxic, non-residue, will come with also with leather conditioner. This will keep this leather strap perfectly soft. If you ever feel that the strap is getting a little hard, apply it on the front and back, remove any excess, let it soak in, and a little bit will go a long way. And then lastly, some fine scratch remover. This is Novus 2 from Amazon, just repackaged. Um, you've got an acrylic glass and you can scratch it. If you do, put a tiny bit of this on it and buff against that scratch, filling that scratch, and then polish it out with your included microfiber. Um, just go back and forth. If your scratch is up and down, go left and right. Fill in that scratch, polish it, and you should have it knocked out in about 20 seconds. So that is your build, sir. Thank you so much for reaching out for uh, to me to get a build, and uh, appreciate the support. And if you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out, and I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.